Well, it's an antiquated law written over 200 years ago, but today the Third Amendment, which is meant to protect owners from government occupation of their homes, is at the center of a very controversial case in the state of Nevada. Cops in Henderson City now facing a lawsuit for allegedly invading a residence and jailing the owners for failing to comply with their forceful entry. Do these homeowners F a case? Elizabeth Foley is a professor of constitutional law at Florida International University. Uh, good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. We don't hear much about the Third Amendment. Can you just describe how it's relevant in this case? Sure. Uh, the Third Amendment is sort of the forgotten amendment. Uh, I bet most lawyers probably couldn't even tell you what it says. But as you said, it, it says that you can't quarter soldiers in someone's house in time of peace unless the owner of the, of the premises consents. Uh, and so in this particular case, you had sort of uh, local police officials asking the plaintiff, Mr. Mitchell, if they could sort of use his home as sort of a, a lookout point. Uh, they had received some information that his uh, neighbor, Mr. Mitchell's neighbor, was engaging in uh, domestic violence, and they wanted to watch him for a little while. Uh, and so they called uh, Mr. Mitchell up in the morning and said, can we use your house to watch this fellow? Mr. Mitchell said, I really don't want to get involved. Uh, and and uh, they hung up the phone. A couple hours later, a whole posse of police showed up at Mr. Mitchell's door, uh, banged on the door, uh, ordered him to open. He sort of freaked out. Uh, and when he didn't open the door immediately, they, they used a battering ram to uh, enter his premises. They pepper sprayed him. They pepper sprayed his dog. Uh, and then they arrested him for obstruction of justice. Uh, they took him to the police station. They held him for nine hours, uh, and during which time they searched his entire house without a warrant, uh, and they used his house to watch his neighbor. Well, that is about the most outrageous story I've, I've ever heard. Um, yeah. That's clearly unconstitutional. Will they be under the Third Amendment, which, by the way, the framers thought important enough to make it number three in a line of ten. Um, will they be punished? And what is the punishment for violating someone's Third Amendment rights? Yeah, let's hope they're going to be punished. First of all, I mean, off the bat, let's make it clear that there's absolutely a clear Fourth Amendment violation. The Fourth Amendment says you can't conduct unreasonable searches and seizures of someone or their home or papers or effects. Uh, this was clearly uh, an unreasonable search and seizure of his home because they didn't have a warrant. You have to have a warrant to go into somebody's house. And that warrant has to be based on probable cause that the premises are being used for some sort of crime. So clearly he's going to recover some money for a Fourth Amendment violation. When it comes to the Third Amendment, here's the problem. Uh, it's not usually used. We don't generally have this kind of outrageous set of facts. So it's never been litigated or ver not very often. We don't have any published Supreme Court decisions interpreting the scope of the Third Amendment. So we have a lot of unresolved questions in this case. The first most important unanswered question, for example, is can police officers, local police officers, be considered soldiers right. within the meaning of the Third Amendment? Yeah. Uh, well, Elizabeth Foley, it sounds like we will all get an education as this case is uh, adjudicated. Thanks so much for coming on to explain it to us. And hopefully some justice. Thanks very much. Thank you.